Humans, we are so desperate to improve our technology as far as we can, but we are not even a Type One civilization yet in the Kardashev scale. Still, let's speculate about what happens if humanity becomes a Type Two civilization in today's video of Discover Zen. Well, a Type Two civilization can generally harness all the energy of its star. In our case, we should be able to harness all energy emitted by the sun in space. Not only this, but we should also have the ability to completely control and use all the power generated naturally or artificially in our planetary system. To reach Type Two civilization, humans must cross Type One civilization first. In Type One civilization, we already had complete control over all the possible renewable energy sources on Earth, including all the energy as light or heat reaching Earth by the sun, which is already covered in a different video. So make sure to watch it. We already know that reaching Type One will take almost 100 to 200 years of human evolution, and reaching Type Two will take another 1,500 to 2,000 years in addition to Type One. So it's a long way out if we can make it out of global warming. And considering the way we are polluting our planet, even a few decades into the future looks devastating. But if we can reach Type One civilization without a mass extinction then we will already have an infinite renewable energy. So, no pollution, no global warming. Now, when talking about planetary travel as a Type 2, we might have expanded through our whole solar system at the end of Type 1. So, we will be having more energy needs and more ways of getting that energy too. Getting complete control over our planetary system doesn't mean that we will be able to extract energy just from our star, but also from the planets in our solar system. This even means that humans can extract all energy from every asteroid in the asteroid belt and also from each of Jupiter's moon. A lot of power, isn't it? Yes, it's a lot. But it will be just sufficient for all the humans alive, as we will be scattered all over the solar system. Who knows, we might even have our own planet built artificially. We might even build a Dyson Sphere. This megastructure is a gigantic shell enclosing the sun, lined with mirrors or solar panels, and is designed to collect every iota of a star's energetic output. In the case of our sun, that colossal figure is 400 septillion watts per second, which is on the order of a trillion times our current worldwide energy usage. What's more, the interior of the Dyson Sphere could, in theory, provide far more habitable real estate than a measly planet. Furthermore, humans might achieve the fastest way of interstellar travel too, as we know the current speed of rockets is still very low in reference to our huge solar system. We will be having technologies that can even save the Earth from an asteroid impact. Not only saving the Earth, but we might use asteroid energy in something else to benefit our needs. Now think of the capability to extract all the energy in our galaxy. Well, that comes under Type 3 Civilization and deserves a different video from Discover Zen.